Hi everybody, welcome to my Origami of the Day calendar video for Monday, November 23rd, 2009. The uh, model in the calendar on this day is of an armadillo made with a dollar bill. So if you're not prepared uh, at this point, go find yourself a nice, uh, preferably a crisp dollar bill. Meet me back here and we'll get started right away on this one, won't we, Shadow? So I tried this model first the way it is uh, demonstrated in the calendar instructions and mine didn't come out right. So what I'm showing you is the way that I uh, figured out to get it to do um, or to look like the, the end result picture in this um, calendar of the day. In my version you start with the front side facing you upside down so it looks like George Washington is standing on his head. And what you're going to do on the left side of the dollar bill, you're going to create a water bomb base. And the way that you do that is to fold each corner over down to the opposite edge, so one corner then the other, and you're doing this in creating a really strong crease in each direction. And then um, fold this piece backwards and you're folding it down to the point where those crisscrosses ended. So if you're looking at, at where you, the lines where you crisscrossed, right where that ends is where you're folding this to. So do that to, toward the back, open it back up, and then hold your piece again with George upside down and allow it to start to collapse in. It's going to bend in on that straight line and uh, fold down and over in a triangular shape on the diagonal lines. And once it's folded down like this, um, that's the water bomb base. Now on the opposite side, you're going to fold the two corners over to the center. So when you're done, you've got triangle on one side and the two corners folded down into a point on the other. Now for the next uh, series of folds, I'm going to hold the piece rather than uh, this way. I'm going to hold it this way so you can see what I'm doing. Um, take There's two flaps, one on the right side, one on the left side here. Start out with the one on the right side and pull it out so that it's coming straight out toward you. Once you've done that, sort of push down and you may have to um, put your finger in inside here just to to loosen it up a little bit so put your finger inside there loosen it up and then push down on this so that you're flattening it straight down and out so the point is right at the centerpiece like that and then take this point and pull it back and up so that it lines up with this point. So back and up so it's lined up right up here like that. And then when you do that it's going to be folding straight across. That piece will fold straight across here. And then the next thing you're going to be doing is to fold in these side pieces so that they're straight across and if I push in on this one now obviously I've already done this so it's much easier for me to do it very quickly it takes a little bit of finesse to get this to happen so you're folding it in so that it's straight up and down in the center section and when you're done it's like a little it's a d little diamond like almost an upside down looking um, kite shape when you folded that down. And then take this tip, fold it back over, so folding it straight down. And then the final step is to take this whole, uh, this bit here that you've just created and fold it back toward the, um, you're folding it back toward the right hand side that where you started from so that you can work on the next flap because you're going to do the same exact thing on the left hand side. The same thing on the left, pull it out so it's coming straight toward you. Put your finger inside here so that you can sort of open it up 
and then you're going to be pushing down on this piece to flatten it out. Pull the this point up and back so that it lines up with this point. Hold it there, let it fold straight across on the inside, and then fold in on, the, on these outside portions, just like with a bird base. Um, fold in and flatten it down, and again, it's gonna take a little bit of work to get it to do that, so that you've created um, a diamond, upside down diamond, kind of a kite shape. Once it's flattened, bring it down and then fold it in half over this time to the left, the direction that you started from, so that now you'll have two little um, flaps down here. Now, the next series of folds that I'm going to be demonstrating, it's really hard for me to show this. Um, I'm going to do my best. Uh, you've got your end here, it looks like this. There's a little triangle piece right here. You're going to be folding this um, in a mountain fold, so you're folding it really under, like that. And at the same time, you're pushing in on both of these points here, so you can sort of pop out the top like that and like in this case I'm going to hold it this way so you can see it's popped up and now this little bit stuck back up so stick it down in <laughs> oops let's try it this way ah and pop this up like that and these little things are going to be the ears, so eventually we're going to work on, on those. So it'll look like this. And the little, these little squirrely, swirly bits here on either side then from the dollar bill become like the eyes of your armadillo. Now we're going to do a, a little accordion pleat up at this end, which is basically a mountain fold uh, followed by a, a valley fold, one right next to the other, so you get that accordion um, feel. And the, the valley fold is going to be right in line here with this edge here. And the mountain fold is right where the angle changes on the head. So right at this point is going to be where the mountain fold happens. So fold that over and you'll see I've, I folded it right on that edge there on the head. And then the, the valley fold is right in line oops, with this, and it includes the ears. So when I fold this up, <laughs> I'll do it this way, sorry. When I fold this over in an, a valley, the little ear parts are going to be sticking up. And then you've got, if you look from the side, you have an accordion, right? Because you have mountain here and valley in there. So it will look like this. All right, I've never done this before, but uh, this one was just complicated to demonstrate. And rather than try to really edit it down to fit into the 10 minute um, I'm allotted on this YouTube channel, uh, I'm just going to do this in two parts. So uh, I'm ending this video here. Meet me back here, uh, or just open up the very next one to see the continuation of this model. I'll see you back here in just a moment.